This is a small story about a big character, my mate Les Warner. Born in Lambert Street, Erskineville, Sydney, in 1921, Les was the second of four children. Some of Les's earliest memories relate to the Depression. The Depression began with the Wall Street crash of October 1929 and rapidly spread worldwide. As in other nations, Australia suffered years of high unemployment, poverty and lost opportunities. I was brought up in the Great Depression. We never got any toys because my father couldn't afford them. I seen him building me a boat out of a piece of wood for bugger because that's all he had. We never had lovely food we had to eat. My mother very often would say to us, um, you know what I thought it'd be nice to eat tonight? Porridge, because that's all she had. We couldn't afford to pay rent in the Great Depression and we had to, we got a tent and went out and lived in a tent. Les married in 1940 and together with his beautiful wife had five children. The family has grown and Les currently has eight grandchildren, 15 great-grandchildren and one great-great-grandchild. His wife Grace sadly passed away not long ago. They had been married for over 70 years. Les had a number of different businesses over the years that he ran, either by himself or with his brother, including rubbish removal, taxi trucks and steam engine construction. Les is fiercely independent and he told me that the one and only time he'd ever worked for someone only lasted a few hours. His boss for that brief moment seemed to think that Les would be better off doing his own thing. At the moment I'm building a, an Amsterdam organ, you know the ones they have in the uh, circus? You know the ones with the, uh, the merry-go-rounds and that sort of stuff. Why, why are you doing that? Oh, just for something to do. The only trouble is, I, I was I started about, I don't know, so about ten months ago. About months ago, and they usually take about fifteen years to build. And I'm 80, 80, 80, I'm ninety. Eighty nine. Eighty nine now. So I mean, I don't know what I'm going to complete, it, but I, I reckon I've got a fair way with it. I've got all the bellows and. The, you know, the bellows go up and down and pump the air into it and the... So the you plan to finish it, do you? Or place that. You're planning to finish it? Oh, I plan to finish it as long as somebody don't finish me in the first <laughs> meantime. Yeah. Good morning, love. Les continues to participate in numerous activities. Some of those being painting, debating, carpentry and travelling. I have found Les's attitude positive and his outlook uplifting. He tends to see the glass half full in any given challenge. He broke his leg and was in hospital for many months. He passed his time by painting and each time I visited him, he had a smile on his face and showed me his latest artworks. Oh, that's one there. I'm starting to do that down there. Still working on that one. And that's it. How long have you been in here now? Since nearly Christmas. And you, you're still going all right? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, a lot of them just sit there looking at the telly all the time, but I can't do that. Can't do it. And I, I play a bit of it, I play the piano. Yeah, keep yourself piano. going. And uh, yeah, that fills in a bit of time. Les has taught me that life is what you make it, no matter what situation you are in. And to appreciate and take care of the things that matter most, such as our family and friends and nature. And to never forget the importance of giving, without counting the cost. Not long ago, Les celebrated his 90th birthday. People came from far and wide, and it was indeed a celebration. I don't know what to do with them, and they're lonely, and nobody wants them. You, you go and you make them. 
You are the actor. You are the person. You've got to be the star. Les is a valuable part of my life, his family's life, and the communities he is involved in. Les has shown me that old age is not scary or boring, or an experience to be dreaded. It can be what you make it, for those that have the good fortune of reaching it. I have hope that I can live a rich and fulfilling existence in my golden years, thanks to Les. And being old does not mean you are a burden to anything or anyone. Old age means that you have much to share. We were all young once, but only some of us will be old. Les Warner is a special treasure, a great Australian, and a person whom has enriched the lives of many for the better, including mine. Thank you, Les.